What's up everyone, today is the second video of how to learn digital art. This time it's gonna be a little bit more advanced, so you need to have some experience in Photoshop to do that. It took me around 4 hours to do that painting. Today I'm gonna explain the steps and how I exactly did it. The very first thing I did is to make the background a lot darker and then I started applying the colors for the row. Those two images that you see are the reference images. I mainly used the one on the left. I started drawing out the letters on the row and the marks. The letters may not be as perfect as you want, but just deal with it. Then I started applying some shadows and lighting on the road. I did some more marking. Here I started playing with the colors of the road. I wanted to make it a little bit more uneven and with a lot of holes in it. I applied here some grain effect because I wanted to make the road a little bit more realistic. I started working on the buildings on the left side and I just used the brush to make it pop a little bit more. After that I'm gonna put a lot more details in it. On the left side I saw that in the image something like a bus stop. I don't know if it is a bus stop but I decided to draw something like that. I started doing some signs and then applied some shadows underneath it. And now I started drawing a human. The first thing I wanted to do is his jacket. Apply it again some lighting effects and shadows. Then I did his jeans and shoes. And finally I did his face. After that I just copied the layer and I pasted it several times to create some silhouettes that I'm gonna put in the back. I also created shadows for those silhouettes because those are supposed to be humans that you cannot see very well in the distance. And I started drawing the trash bins here. And now I started creating more signs in the distance, because you know that in Hong Kong there are a lot of them. And I decided to do another human figure. Again, I started from the jacket and then did the jeans and finally his head. Mm. 
I copied and pasted him and created more silhouettes in the distance. I did a little bit of color correction in the sidewalk. And now I started working on the buildings on the left side. I used low pass to create the blending of the buildings and to make it more clean. I decided to put more glowing stuff outside of it and I did some more details on top of the building. I wanted to create more signs in the middle part of the drawing. It was hard for me to do the letters but it is what it is. Now I started working on the buildings on the left side that are far in the distance and then in the middle part of the drawing I started creating some more lighting effects. And after that I started creating some vehicles. And 
after that I started working on the buildings on the right side. I was playing a lot with the lighting of this building and then I started doing some signs. I decided to create a straight one and I just copy and pasted it a few more times. Added some more lighting effects in the distance. I copied and pasted the bus stop from the left side and put it on the right side. I created some more lamps and put it on both sides of the road. I created some windows for the buildings that are far in the distance. I decided to put some humans on the right side as well and I just used the same human on the left one, just copied and pasted him on the right side. After that I started drawing a car, I created a shadow for the car as well. And I just use the same car and put it in the distance. The same goes for the car that you see here now. But I decided to make it a little bit different, something like a taxi. And after that I just did some color correction with the camera raw filter to make the drawing look much more nice and clean. And this is pretty much it. It took me 4 hours to create this painting and it's probably the hardest I have ever done. But at the end of it I'm really happy how it turned out. Tell me what you think about in the comments, tell me what kind of drawing you wanna see next. And if you wanna learn digital art be sure to subscribe because I'm gonna upload much more tutorials during the pandemic. And that's pretty much, thank you for watching.